Now, the weird part is if he knew that that's what you wanted, then that means he already knew. Like, you didn't bring it up. He already knew this. It was already in his head. So wait a second. If he, if he knew what you wanted, but he didn't do it till after you mentioned divorce, separation, or whatever, why hasn't he done it before? A narcissist knows what he's doing. There's not this surprise piece of, oh, I didn't know that I abused you. Oh, I had no intention of hurting you. Oh, there's not this piece of surprise. Too many of you are going to be confused and frustrated and think and be lost in the fact that you think that he doesn't know what he's doing. You just view him as being an immature child. And as a result, you've given him so much grace that you welcome the abuse at this point because he keeps doing it and you haven't done anything about it. It's because of his childhood. It's because of his immaturity. It's because of the stress and of his job. And you make up different excuses and reasons and stories and lies to tell yourself to stay in the relationship to try to help him, to try to fix him. You can't fix him. It's not your job. You're not his parent. You're his partner. And as a result, you need to start acting like one, which means you need to start rising up. You need to start growing and developing yourself. And if you're unwilling to do that, then you're also saying this relationship isn't going to work. Because it doesn't work with you making him rise, with you making him get better, with you helping him grow and develop, with you saving him, that relationship never works. All it does is it leaves you heartache, it leaves you broken, leaves you frustrated for a long period of time, and then you doubt your worth because you didn't fix him. You can't fix him. That's not your job. That's not your responsibility. And honestly, if you've been in a relationship with him over a couple months to a year, you will never be able to fix him, even if you could. What? You'd never be able to fix them, even if you could, because there's so much relational ties and there's so much manipulation that's already been built and there's so many emotional heartstrings that have been connected. That piece coming from you won't work, won't happen. My wife will get frustrated with this at times because she'll say something to me. Hey, I think you need to do X, Y, and Z. And I'm like, okay. And I'm like thinking about it. And then another person comes up and he's like, hey, this is what I, well, this is what I thought. I think you need X, Y, and Z. And I'm like, oh yeah, perfect. And then I do it. It'll, it'll piss her off so much. It's not at a point where I am purposely trying to ignore her. In fact, all these years, I've been getting better and better about listening to her, realizing that 99% of the time she's right. And the other 1% of the time I'm right halfway and she's right. And this isn't just like a right or wrong thing. It's just I'm learning to be able to trust her more than just trusting my own ego because my own ego doesn't really know what it's talking about. And it's just trying to steamroll over different people to get what I want, right? So this whole piece of learning how to trust her is absolutely huge. But inside of this, learning to have this piece of connection and trust is absolutely essential for the relationship to grow, to develop, and to blossom. And so there's times where I abdicate that to her. I'm like, what do you think? Inside of this place, there'd be many times where I would need a second person to actually say something. Why? Because it coming from her, because the emotional ties, because the things that have been between us for such a long period of time, I don't always receive it. Or sometimes I need a second person to say it. So I'm like, oh, okay, they validate what she was saying. So therefore, they're both right. Therefore, I'm going to move forward in that thing. Okay, you can't save him. You can't fix him. It has to come from the inside. It has to come from something he actually wants in his life. So all of this to kind of lay the stage here for the simple premise in the aspect of the narcissist knows what he's doing. How do I know? Okay, well, let's start off with this part. One. If you're new here, my name is Ben Taylor. I'm a self-aware narcissist on this channel to provide awareness, growth, healing, change, development, and transformation in your life. As a result, I understand the mind of a narcissist. Being a narcissist, understanding what he's actually thinking, what's actually going on. Here's the thing I need you to understand. While in the abuse and while doing the abuse to other people, I knew what I was doing. Newsflash, I knew what I was doing. Now, ask me if it mattered. No, it didn't matter because I didn't care. Do you get this? A narcissist knows what he's doing, but it is so far down on the totem pole based on his needs, his feelings, his emotions, his wants, his desires, that that piece of knowing doesn't really matter. There's a piece that I knew I was being abusive, that I was lying, that I was cheating, that I was hurting other people, but it wasn't my focus. I didn't care. I didn't focus on it. I compartmentalized it. I dissociated from it. I pushed it aside. I said, that doesn't matter because what matters is what I want. So let me go out with the next person. Let me go focus on the next person. Let me go do the next thing that I want to do because that's more important than acknowledging that I know what I'm doing. 
inside of this, people are like, they can't know. There's no way that they would do this. They can't know. If they knew, then they'd stop. And then you fall into this fallacy of maybe I just need to make him aware. Like if I can get him aware that he's lying, then he'll know, then he'll change. You have to understand that you might not be operating on the same moral plane or moral playground as the narcissist. Instead, he might be looking at it being like, yeah, I know I lie. I don't care. Then what do you do? You don't have a leg to stand on because you're fighting for this piece of like, I need him to be honest. He doesn't want to be honest. Why? Because it's exposing, because it's vulnerable, because it brings up shame and guilt, because then he has to actually confront the demons that are inside. He doesn't want to do that. So as a result, you're going to continue to try to think, let me just, let me just get him aware. If he can just get aware, then, then it'll fix the relationship. It'll fix our marriage. It'll fix our family. If he would just be aware. Awareness does not equal transformation. Awareness does not mean that he will grow, change, develop, or anything will shift. Nine times out of ten, if he's not willing to be honest, any awareness he gets will be used as projection back onto you. Making yourself feel like the crazy one, making yourself feel like the toxic one, having you doubt yourself, wondering, am I the narcissist here? Because I've reacted awfully at times. Because he learns to project, he learns to put it back on you because he's then aware. I'm convinced there's a lot more narcissists out there that are aware that even what you realize. The difference is they don't really care. They're not really focused on that awareness piece. They just move forward. There's a piece that I knew cheating was wrong. I grew up in a Christian household. Like I knew cheating was a bad thing, right? I knew it was a sin, all those different pieces. But inside of that, my focus wasn't cheating because I wasn't going to label it cheating. I wasn't going to cause it cheating. I was going to put myself as a victim. And as a victim, I need to find this emotional support from someone else. That emotional support turned into this quote unquote love to make me feel better that turned into physical relationships to make me feel better. And all of a sudden I'm in this deep relationship with an affair with someone else. And it's not cheating. Narcissists justify everything. They try to confuse everything. They try to manipulate everything so they don't feel bad about themselves. Now, what about this piece of, okay, Ben, I get it. You're a narcissist. I, and I hear where you're coming from, but I just don't think he knows. Okay, then let's move to the end of your relationship or the end of getting ready to file divorce or all these different pieces. And he starts to do something different. And when he starts to do something different, he starts to quote unquote change. Now, this is typically going to come after the pace where you filed for divorce, you brought up divorce. You told him to move out. You decided to separate. Anything that's pivotal of where he realizes, wait a second, she's actually serious about this and she's actually going to do it. Then you see something happen where he quote unquote changes. Now inside of this, the narcissist does a couple things and I want you to follow me logically really quick. You bring up, we're going to make this really simple. You bring up, I am going to divorce you. I'm going to file the paperwork. The next day, he starts to do things that you've always wanted. He plans a date with you. He gets you flowers. He writes you a note. And you're just blown away. You're like, oh, that was the wake-up call he needed. Now our relationship is saved. And you're super excited. It's a lie. I realize with some of you, I just like crushed some of your hopes and dreams right now. But I need you to hear this before you get hurt and abused even more. It's a lie. Why? Because in that moment when you said, I'm getting divorced, you also didn't tell him, I'm getting divorced because you haven't taken me on dates, you haven't given me flowers, and you haven't written me love notes. You didn't tell him that in the moment. Like, I know you didn't, because I've talked to thousands of people. You didn't tell him that in the moment. Instead, he did that the next day, simply because of the fact that he knew that's what you wanted. Now, the weird part is... If he knew that that's what you wanted, then that means he already knew. Like you didn't bring it up. He already knew this. It was already in his head. So wait a second. If he, if he knew what you wanted, but he didn't do it till after you mentioned divorce, separation or whatever, why hasn't he done it before? And the simple fact of him not doing it before is the piece of he didn't need to. You were already his. He already had you trapped. So why did he have to put in any extra effort? You weren't going to leave. He didn't expect you to leave. He didn't think you had the guts to leave. So why would he invest time into you? Because he doesn't care. When a narcissist starts doing the things at the end of the relationship that you've asked for the entire time, it's because he already knew. 
but he didn't need to use those things because you were still under his manipulation. He didn't need to actually do anything because you were still stuck mentally, emotionally, physically, sexually, spiritually, all those things. He didn't need to do anything. But then you say you're going to leave, everything changes. He's showing up better for the kids. He's showing up nicer for you. All of it is a facade. So you can drop the divorce proceedings. You can drop separating. So you can drop this whole speech of you leaving him. Then you do. He reverts back. He goes back to who he actually is. And then you're left frustrated, feeling like an idiot, and then being like, oh, well, I guess I won't file because I already tried that. And then you waste another five years before you actually get the guts to file again. This is the piece I need you to hear loud and clear. When he does stuff that you've always asked at the end of the relationship, it proves the fact that he actually knew the entire time. You need to hear this. Because some of you are clinging on to hope at the end of the relationship and you're thinking, maybe I'll give him this wake-up call. When you give him a wake-up call and everything changes instantly, it's not because it actually was him changing. It's him thinking, oh, what do I need to do to keep the relationship, to save my image, to protect my money, to look good in society and to look good to my family? What do I need to do? Let me do those things because those things I know she actually wants. Then you stay, then he reverts, then he manipulates, then you stay stuck. If you're stuck and trapped in a toxic relationship today, you're dealing with a person, he might be a narcissist, he might not be. It doesn't matter. He's treating you in an abusive way. He's not loving, caring, respecting, being honest to you. He's lying, he's cheating, he's stealing, like all these things. If you're stuck in a toxic relationship and you want freedom, please reach out. If you're a woman that's dealing with this, go to rawmotivationscoaching.com. Listen to other women that have gone through the program who have actually been liberated, who have actually been freed from the toxicity in their life. If you're a man today that's struggling with narcissistic traits and you're wondering how to actually work through those, is there a way to move forward? Go to rawmotivations.com, click on the one-on-ones, and there's a button there for men because I want to be able to help even those that are willing to raise their hand and say, I actually want help. Don't waste time if you don't actually want the help or if you're just doing it to appease someone else, I don't want to talk to you. But for those of you that want to be free, please reach out for help. <laughs>